Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Pastor Dan, and I'm here to... Okay, uh, wait. Who is drawing that? that? Okay, that is not what I look like. It is too. You have aged quite a bit recently. Poo-too! Okay, come on. We are not doing drawings. Well, it sounds like you're telling a story. Everyone, this is my new friend, Putu. I thought I'd give a helping hand with some drawings. Okay, well, I don't think that's going to work out because I do not look like that. Okay, so no drawings. Hmm. Well, then if you don't need me to draw, maybe I can tell some jokes. Okay, we, we don't need jokes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Jokes. Jokes who? That's the joke. I said I could tell jokes. Okay, no, that was awful. Okay, no jokes. Mm. Well, I can do voices. Uh, okay, that could actually help us out. Uh, what kind of voices can you do? Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, my name's Buster Dan. I can... Ooh. Uh, okay, wait. I do not sound like that. Hmm, I don't sound anything like that. Ooh. Okay, stop it. Come on. Stop it. I'm Buster Dan. Ooh. Okay, you know what? You can draw. That's totally fine. Ah, my plan worked. Okay, but will you stop drawing me like that, uh, please? All right, all right, all right. So, what story are we telling, Buster Dan? David and Goliath? Oh, that Goliath guy had one ugly face. Kind of reminds me of you. Okay, come on. No, we're not talking about David and Goliath. Hmm. What about that one guy that gets on the boat, gets tossed overboard, then swallowed by that huge fish? Then the fish throws him up, and the whale says, Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Oh, uh, the story of Jonah? Hmm. Or the one where the guy gets in the den with the lions? Oh, uh, the story of Daniel. Mm, no, not that one. What about the one with the big boat and all the animals and all the water? Uh, Noah? Mm, no, I was thinking more of Titanic. Okay, uh, we're not telling any of those stories, all right? We're telling a story about Jesus. Hmm, New Testament. All right, proceed. All right, well, today we're talking all about the helper. Wait, I thought I was helping you today. Uh, well, you are, but we're talking about a different helper. Okay, l let me explain it to you like this. There was one day when Jesus was hanging out with his disciples, and he told them that he was leaving. What? Where was he going? Well, he was going to heaven. But why would he leave them all alone? That is so sad. Well, that's the thing. He wasn't going to leave them all alone. Oh, I see. He left them a stunt double. Okay, no, no. He left them a helper. Ah, a helper. Like Siri. Siri, help me draw Pasta Dan. Okay, no... Come on, that is not how I look, okay? And it wasn't Siri. The helper Jesus gave them is called the Holy Spirit. Say what? Okay, let's rewind here a little bit. Remember how Jesus was able to do all of those amazing miracles, like heal all those people, calm the storm, and even feed 5,000 with just one little boy's lunch? Yes. Well, he was able to do all of that because he had the help of his best friend, the Holy Spirit. So he was Jesus' best friend, just like we're best friends. Uh, kind of, I guess. Wait, wait, hold on a second. I thought we were besties. Okay, well, if we were besties, you wouldn't draw me like an ogre. All right, touche, touche. Okay, so anyways, the Holy Spirit is Jesus' best friend. And without his help, Jesus could never have done any of those amazing things. So he couldn't heal anyone, he couldn't calm the storm, and he couldn't feed the 5,000 people? Nope. The Holy Spirit helped him do all of that. So when Jesus went to heaven, he gave his disciples the Holy Spirit so they could have the same help he did. And you know what else? He gave us the Holy Spirit too. So what you're saying is, Jesus gave us his best friend to help us? That's right, and that's exactly what we're talking about today.